Rolling and the sound is speeding. Hi, Terry just came back from his walk. Hi, welcome to another episode of This Week with Drew for Thursday, Friday, the, uh, the fucking June uh, 25th, 26th, 24th, 25th, 24th. On today's episode, we got It's Early in the Morning. Oh, and I can't hear my freestyle intro, so you know I gotta flip it from the top. Oh, drink Gatorade, because I'm feeling fucked up. Hi, welcome to another episode of This Week with Drew for Thursday, Friday, uh, June 24th, 25th. Hi, how are you? How are you? Scan, 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 scan. On. Terry, Las Vegas. Hi, on today's show, let's start off with a little bit of a uh, we got motherfucking. How was my week? How was my week, buddy? Okay, so um, I finally finished the stand. I did it, guys. I did it. I finally finished my 1,439-page book. And I got to say, I knew what was going to happen at the end. So it was nice just to get there. I uh, <laughs> I feel good. I f- it feels nice to finish like a big long nerd book. Um, it's the biggest book that I ever read. It was like literally like fucking this thick, like as thick as your head. And uh, it's good. It's a nice. It's a book that takes place where uh, in a, in a world where ninety nine percent of people have been killed by a virus. And uh, let's turn this mic up a bit. And then it deals with the people who survived. And then their, uh, their shit to do with, uh, fucking, um, um, oh, does Terry want to eat breakfast? Okay, you can go, you want breakfast? Okay, Terry's gonna come have breakfast right now. Oh, it's time for breakfast. Okay, I moved the thing, Corey, you can come in. Terry has been a little bit of a, uh, we've been trying, we've been, hello. We've been trying to make sure that Terry is not um, boofing at the door. So we've been putting treats, right, Court? Mm-hmm. We've been having treats. And then when he boofs at the door, then you got to distract him with a treat and have him do his little song and dance routine. And, ooh, this the lighting is dramatic that I have right here. This is very dramatic lighting. Hi. This is my dramatic lighting podcast. <laughs> Terry, are you so hungry? It's too late. We slept in a little bit. I got pretty fucked up last night. Were you drunk last night? A little bit? A little bit? <laughs> I drink alone. <laughs> Smartles on her thorough good last night. <laughs> yeah, with nobody else. Is that, are you hiding fucking wine bottles in the recycling? Is that what I'm seeing? Smartle's fucking hiding empty wine bottles in the recycling. <laughs> She's stuffing it way under. <laughs> so I won't notice. <laughs> Alcoholic lady hiding her wine. <laughs> um, so I finished the fucking book and now I'm moving on. I, uh, I'm moving on. I'm, I've been in fiction for a long time now. The Stand, it took me two, a year to read this book. I read the first like 700 pages last summer and then I read the la- next 800 pages this summer. So I'm fucking done with reading, reading fiction. Not, I'm not, not done reading, but I'm done with reading fiction and I'm going to read some nonfiction. I started reading The Inconvenient Indian the other day or not the other day, a couple weeks ago. I'm like maybe like, ha- uh, like I don't know, 15, 20 pages into that. So I'm going to keep that going now. And now I have this backlog of books that I feel like it's like a big zit that just had to, or like a big poop. You're like, <laughs> And then it just goes, ploop, and then you all the water drops, and then you're like, oh, now I can just poop out my little smaller poopies. <laughs> and they go, ploop, ploop, ploop. Because <laughs> before I was like, <laughs> on this like 1500 fucking page book. So now I can read uh, The Inconvenient Indian, and then I got The Tao of Wu that I want to refin- reread. And then I also want to do um, Mistborn. This, I got a bunch of books in my fucking book exchange on Instagram. Actually, this is a funny story. I did a book exchange on Instagram and then some guy, which is like, you just get random people to send books and like pay it forward. And, uh, and then this fucking guy, 
who sent me a book. He comes out of nowhere. He's a guy. He goes, uh, hey, man, like, I'm one of the guys that sent you a book from your book exchange like six months ago. I'm like, oh, no way. Like, thank you, man. Like, what's up? And he's like, did you get a weird package? Like, a weird package? And I'm like, no, why? He's like, okay, hey, I ordered something for me and my girlfriend. And I accidentally put your address as the ship to address because the last thing I had bought from Amazon was your book and I sent it to you. And I'm like, oh, weird. He's just like, yeah, it was just something for me and my girlfriend. So, like, keep your eye out. And I didn't, and I was like, oh, okay, like, I'm looking out for it. And I was like, that's weird, man. Like, that's so fucking weird. And then, um, buddy, ouch, ouch. Buddy, uh, I got legs it. Buddy fucking messaged me a couple weeks later. He's like, did you see that package? And I'm like, no, man, like, I haven't seen anything. Like, I'll keep an eye out for it. Like, what is it? He's like, oh, it's just something for me and my girlfriend. And I was like, oh, okay, like, fucking big fucking strap on for you, buddy, or what? And, uh, <laughs> And, uh, and then he fucking, and then I messaged him. I'm like, bro, what's going on with this? He's like, oh, I'll look into it. And he didn't see anything. And then I was like, okay. And then, and then that was like a year ago. And then I haven't heard back from him. But then what actually happened was like three weeks before him reaching out to me, um, I got this weird package that was like a fucking like, uh, Spencer's gifts, like starter pack of bondage stuff. So it was like a crappy whip and like fuzzy handcuffs and like it was like what you'd get from like spencer's gifts like you know or like some like you know like basic like it's bdsm starter kit and the only and i opened i was like what the fuck is this and the first i was like i was like i didn't order this and i was like what the fuck but it has my name on it and like did someone prank me right now is this a weird thing but it had my name on it and in it, there was all this stuff. So I, I'm like showing Courtney and she's like, what the fuck? And I'm like, I don't know. But there was a good rope in there. It was a, <laughs> it was like a nice rope. So I kept the rope and then I just fucking got rid of the other shit. Cause I'm like, I don't need fucking fuzzy handcuffs. Like this is like for like, this is seemingly for like, I don't know. Like it didn't, it's like real, real guys are like, <laughs> you know if i'm gonna do it i'm going full leather daddy <laughs> like i don't want this fucking starter pack shit fuck put me up in a gimp mask and a ball gag buddy let's go <laughs> so only re later after did i realize i'm like oh that was buddy's probably buddy's package but it came like a month i had it for like a month and then he's like oh he, the, he said, he's like, you, I accidentally clicked it. You will be seeing this. And I was like, oh, okay. So like you fucked this up previous to me getting this weird BDSM package starter kit from fucking Spencer's Gifts. <laughs> That's a good story though. Remember Spencer's Gifts? When you're 14, you're like Spencer's Gifts is the fucking greatest. If you don't know, Spencer's Gifts is a store that was in Canadian malls and they sold like glow in the dark posters and like blow up sex dolls and like beaded curtains and like bongs like glowing bongs and like what else fart they they sold like fart packages like you could squeeze them and then a fart would happen i mean when you're 14 a fucking fart like that's funny like a fart <laughs> well, i mean farts are always funny but like <laughs> i've gone on a philosophical rant before about how i think farting that jokes are just a, a humanity's attempt to verbalize a fart <laughs> because a fart is funny because it has everything that a joke is supposed to be it has it's number one it's unexpected which is a has to, all jokes have to be unexpected and uh uh it, like it, it it has a twist it has rising a anticipation <laughs> and then it ends abruptly and um and then it lingers and there's a stink that lingers and that's funny <laughs> <laughs> and I believe that, oh, my toes fucked up now. And I believe that, um, that jokes are just our way of humans way of, it, of trying to like recapture that first fart around the fire feeling, you know, those cavemen are sitting around the fire and then one guy just farts and they were like, <laughs> and ever since then, we've been trying to like, just do that again, like just capture the uh the essence of the fart man <laughs> i did not i don't even know what i'm talking about this i didn't want to talk about this um okay promotional consideration promotional consideration for our show is provided by our patreons motherfucking anthony let's see i should have this memorized by now anthony and blair and joel and nick and mac and bubba and marnus and taryn and bryce 
And uh, in the motherfucking Hall of Fame, call that an Andre. Say they name. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah. Hi, Mink. Um, so thank you to our love, our Patreons. You guys pay for the fucking lights and the fucking bandwidth and, and all that. So thank you guys. I really appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Um, and also to our sponsor, our, all our, our constant sponsor, kingtutscannabis.com. You can go to kingtutscannabis.com and use the promo code Drew for 15, 10%, 10% off your order. And right now they're doing like a free shatter grant. They're doing giving away free shatter um and some other shit so go to kingtutscannabis.com use the promo code drew for 10 percent off your order kingtutscannabis.com smoke like an egyptian um okay what else we got going on we got the comedy show down at the gardens has been fucking rocking and uh what else did i do that's it we're good okay i i did this friday morning because i fucking I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> Yesterday was nice. And then Court and I went to the patio and then we just had supper. So, okay. I'm going to upload this now. And, oh, right. I forgot to tell you. I got an email. I got an email. I got an email from a thing. I got an email. I got an email. I got an email from some people. <laughs> I got an email. I got an email. I got a fucking email too. So yeah, I got an email. That's all I can say. I got an email. I got an email.